my name's Anna, I'm 17, and this year I've ruined a friendship due to alcohol. I'm just like in the normal crowd at school. I'm quite awkward with boys, like to talking to them in case they say the wrong thing. You know, I don't mind being a bit quiet and sitting in the corner and like taking a back seat occasionally. Anna lives in the northwest of England. This is the story of how a night of drinking alcohol has damaged her relationships with her friends. It was the first weekend after starting school, so everyone was a bit stressed. There was a party, all my friends from my social group were there. I took some cider, it was quite a big bottle. As the alcohol hit me, I was a bit more confident, so I was milling around talking to people I don't know. Like, I was more social than I'd normally be if I hadn't been drinking. Once inside the body, alcohol is absorbed into the bloodstream through the stomach wall and small intestine. Drinking on an empty stomach is more dangerous, as without food, alcohol enters the bloodstream a lot faster. The liver is put under extra pressure and cannot break down all of the alcohol in the system, leaving it to circulate around the vital organs. I sat down with my friends from school. We just had a drink together. As we drank more, we started talking about boys a bit more. And and usually, like you don't you don't want to say oh, I like him, but once you've had a drink, you don't care what people think as much. And then, with a, you know, a bit of encouragement from one of my best friends, I went over and talked to a guy that I liked. He had been dating one of my close friends, but and she was at that party as well. I was flirting with him, and I was doing it quite openly as well. I was so much less self-conscious, even after only like one drink. As alcohol circulates around the bloodstream and enters the body's organs, it disrupts the chemistry of the cells, changing the way they, and you, behave. In the brain, alcohol represses the areas that control your inhibitions, making you feel temporarily more outgoing, extroverted and confident. I went to the kitchen, I got a bottle of Alcopops, got chatting to this other guy who I'm sort of friends with from school. I don't know him that well. I probably wouldn't usually talk to him at school. He was flirting with me and I wouldn't usually have been interested. But after a bit of a, a bit of, you know, quite open flirting, he leans in for a kiss and I kissed him back because probably, like, I wouldn't if I wasn't drunk. Alcohol interferes with a hormone called testosterone that affects the reproductive system and also sexual attraction. It can make females feel more confident and increase their sexual desire. Recent research suggests alcohol may also impede the brain's judgement on the attractiveness of potential partners, encouraging decisions that might later be regretted. At this point, I'd had like the big thing of sides are probably about three glasses, I think, like the equivalent to, and then I was like on my second, like, Alka Pop. And then I went to find my friends, and there's like a load of us in his bedroom, including the guy who I did actually quite like. His ex, one of my close friends, was there. Um, and I was, you know, I was just fighting with him, even though she was in the same room still having a good time. Um, there was like a camera going around and me and him were like taking pictures of ourselves. My close friend left the room and when like everyone had kind of left, we like, we started kissing me and the, the, the boy who I quite liked. I wouldn't have done that if I was sober, um, even though him and my friend had broken up. After we like, finish kissing, I think maybe we did say, this isn't a good idea. You're good friends with, with my ex. I don't really remember a great deal of it. An area of the brain known as the hippocampus is responsible for recording new memories. Alcohol can prevent this process, leading to the brain blacking out events so they can't be remembered. The regret did kick in, you know, waking up the next day. The more I thought about it, the more I was like, oh, no, 
what have I done? Um, I don't know, just kept like, just kept like closing my eyes and just wishing that I could go back and not, not do it. And then, you know, got a notification on social media. His ex, my close friend, has put these pictures up of you. There was a few nice group shots of us all. There was pictures of us kissing each other's cheeks. I just had this in the back of my mind. What if this photo is actually kissing? My main concern was his ex is going to find out, and she's, she's she, you know, it's going to affect our friendship, and it's it's going to affect my friendship with all our mutual friends. And I thought, okay, maybe I should tell her. You know, I was drunk, so she would understand that. I didn't mean it. I just pass it off as whatever, you know, drunk mistake. So I told her. Um, at first she was fine. Like at first she was just like, whatever, I'm over him. And then after a few days, she's like, I'm really hurt, I'm really angry, I feel betrayed, you should have thought of this. And I don't know, but I just, yeah, I hadn't thought of it. Like, I was, you know, if I hadn't drank, then I wouldn't have got into this mess. Like, she's still angry at me for what happened, and she's still not talking to me now. 